I got no drip in my pocket Must have forgot it or maybe I already lost it Don't got enough to go pop it, I'm about to take off like a rocket Houston, we might have a problem, but that don't mean money on solve them. No, that don't mean money on solve them. Come to a situation where even, you know, getting in front of Hove or trying to, you know what I'm saying, getting that deal with Rock, like how did, how did, you know what I'm saying, you make that happen and shit? It was a rough ride, man. Years before I even got signed, uh, fucking, uh, I, I got to stop reading the comments while I'm talking to you. <laughs> shit, cause that shit fucked your whole train of thought up. Definitely but do, years bro. before I got signed, I had spit for Hove and them, but I was so nervous and, and wasn't confident that I did horrible. I fumbled. They don't even remember this shit. They, when the second time they met me, they probably felt like I was a new nigga that they never met before. But I spit for Dame and Hovind them way before they signed me and before they was fucking with me like that. And they, they was just like looking at me weird. Like they wasn't feeling my shit at all. And that shit, that shit almost fucked me up. I went home. My man drove us to New York. We hit, and we got the opportunity because Beans, because uh, Free was fucking with Beans. So we all went up there with free. So when free starts spitting, niggas know I spit. They like, yo, go ahead, crack, um, go in. And I was nervous. And then I wasn't really crack man yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just like, I was just like Petey. Just like, I was just little Petey. Just, I wasn't ready yet. I'm like, damn, this is nigga Jay-Z and Damon. Them. I don't know if they're going to fuck with this shit. I went up there and fumbled. I think I spit something nice. My shit was dope, but I just wasn't giving it that umph. So... But I'm glad that happened. Shit like that's supposed to happen. So when yeah. you go home, you go home and you go home and you, you got to be hard on yourself. Like, damn, I fucked up. So and, and next time you be like, damn, but next time and you be practicing and making sure you're ready and building your shit up. And I believe, well, the next time I didn't have to spit for them, it happened differently. And I just end up getting signed like this, like easily, like off a song. I never even spit nothing for them niggas. It was just so, off a song they heard. So so when you was going to spit, like, you know, how was that, like, who, like, mutually someone you knew, or did they have, like, did they have, like, was they looking for, like, artists? So was it, like, a certain... They was looking for... No, they was looking for artists. They was looking for artists, but we was connected, though. We was connected uh, through the niggas that we was, like, hustling with. You know what I'm saying? So... Mm -hmm. Like, niggas that we was kind of, like, hustling for. You know what I'm saying? Like, the OGs was new. The OGs that we was fucking with knew niggas that knew Jay and all that. So, it got kind of, they put the play in for us. Like, huh, we going to let y'all come up here and rap for Jay. Huh, don't fuck this up and all that. So, we just end up, it was just, uh, it just happened for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody just brought us up there one time. And they love free. They love free off the rip. Me, they wasn't fucking with me like that. They don't even remember me back then for that shit. Thank God. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's out of pocket. So, yo, I got to ask you, bro. So, all right, now I'm, I'm going to take it to these days. Like, you signed with Rock now. Shit lit. You know what I'm saying? Now you is crack, man. We know around mm -hmm. that time, it was like a lot of battling and shit going on. Like, you know how, like, when Cash got on, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Swiss and them had, had Cash, you know what I'm saying? You know, running down on niggas and shit like that. Was you right. in any situations off camera that you had to run down on some niggas on some battle and shit back in the, like the rock um, days where they was like crack getting? Nah, uh, nothing, nothing real memorable, man. A couple times they tried to sick me on a couple niggas, but they was the niggas was just wasn't even worth it. Like you know what I'm saying, it wasn't even a fair game. Like yeah, I, around that time, around that time, I was writing too much. And I was too aggressive. And the person, the people that they was trying to make me battle, them niggas was just playing around with it. And I wasn't playing around. So I could tell, like, it wasn't, I think Jay was there and all that, but they were just looking, like, after, like, my second verse, they were just looking like, yo, stop, crack. Don't even do no more of this shit. <laughs> yeah, like Straight up. Broken. But I never, I never got into a good one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a good one. I never had a good one. You know what I mean? So, so was there anybody in, you know what I'm saying, state prop? Did Chris, anybody, y'all wasn't sick and Chris on nobody back then? Um, no, I seen like Freeway was always getting through, always busting that move. I don't know. 
I can't. I didn't witness uh, Chris ever battling nobody, but Free got a few uh, bodies under his belt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got bodies under his belt. Okay, okay. Cause free liked it to do that. Like free, free got great showmanship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So free good. He he good on the spot in front of crowds of people, and he also he could freestyle off the top of the head. Like he could rap about your TV and how you smoking the L and your beard, and he know how to do that shit on the spot type shit. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's what's up. So so like. How was it like? Hold up, hold hold up, my bad. Let me get my little vape pen real quick. I'm gonna take all a hit right, of right, yeah. Give me one no, second. Bro. Say no more. Coochie coochie. Yeah, Chris was a beast. I was expecting. I was expecting that. You know what I'm saying? We know how we know how shit was back then on that rap and shit. Y'all know, y'all know we gonna get into that D block state prop shit. We getting into all of that. We we gonna do this shit. You there, bro? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm I'm here chilling, bro. All right, yeah, bet. bet you good? Yeah, I got. I, I'm about to take a sip. You know, I can't sip without the uh, without taking the puff. Hold up. Take me a little splash of this hand while we talk talk about you know, the good bro. old days. Where you at? You probably you know what I'm saying niggas going out Delaware for that shit now. I gotta go out that joint and get me a bottle and shit. Oh no! Look, shout out my man Robino. He uh he stocked up crazy. Like I think he be selling shit. Damn. But um he came, he slid through the crib the other day. Oh, matter of fact, this particular bottle that wasn't Bino. Um, this my homie Benny slid me this bottle. But my man Bino did slot me some bottles too. But my homie Benny just slid me this bottle ahead. I think it was from uh Delaware though. Yeah, that thing. Arlinda. Yeah, I got to shout Arlinda out. She's going to be talking shit. She's like, nigga, I gave you that bottle. <laughs> yeah, bro. So I got to ask you, man, like, you know, how was it to be able to rap, you know what I'm saying, with, with legends from the city like The Roots, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you did the drone with Jazzy Jeff, right? Yeah, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Even to this day, like, to be on the track officially, like, because I didn't did, you know, I always uh, pay homage to the OGs because I, I love rapping over old school beats. But this particular joint I did with Jazzy Jeff, I actually did it with him in his house. You know what I mean? Like, like that was mind blowing to me. Just being, just being in the room with this man is crazy. And. Of course, you know, with the Root situation and with Black Thought and Quest and the rest of the Roots crew, uh, not only just to, to have the opportunity to do music with them, but to be re requested upon from them. You know what I'm saying? Like, them yeah. joints, he, he asked for me. Like, Dice, I mean, not Dice. Shout out to Dice, though. But uh, Black was just like, yo, where PD Crack? Yeah, we need him. The first time I was amazed, I was like, oh shit, that's crazy. Yeah, lucky. But then I ended up on three Roots albums, and I'm like, yo, these niggas kept calling me and put me on the album. So that just fucks me up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So shout out to them, man. I, I, I always feel forever like in, in, like in debt to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't never pay him back like this nigga Black Dog because he don't just fuck with everybody. So it's just a fucking honor. You know what I'm saying? For him to fuck with me like that. Yeah, that, that Oh, shout out my boy Jay Phenomenal. I see you, Jay. You just try to sneak through there just down on the comments and shit. Yeah, I shout got out Jay, comments, man. man. Shout out to everybody in the comments for sure, for sure. I'm my letting, boy Jay, though. To these joints, too. 
I got my shout out to shout out to snacks too. My bad. It's all good. I got my joint on the tripod. My joint kind of far, and I'm gassed up right now, so my right. name's floating kind of fast. So uh, you know, I can. Sure. I, I'm catching them though. <laughs> yeah. Shit like that though, bro. So you know, I gotta jump into the next question, like bro. That, like though, bro. So you know, I gotta jump into the next question, bro. Like, go ahead, bro. man. Keep them rolling. However you want to do it. You know, um, at the end of the day, bro, I gotta ask you: Was it, was it anybody that was any? You know, what I'm saying industry that you wanted to do music with, but you didn't get a chance to. Um, of course, man. Uh, always been a major fan of Jada Kiss. I still would love to do music with Jada, or at least a track, you know what I'm saying? At least a track with Jada, man. Jada has definitely always been my type of rapper, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. When, when, they, when they use the term, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, he, he, if I'm somebody's favorite rapper, he's my favorite rapper, or one of my favorite rappers. Right. He definitely, he right. definitely top five DOA, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? He and, uh, Oh, and one and Lil Wayne for sure, man. Lil Wayne, man. Okay, okay. Lo, lo, I love Wheezy, man. There's a thin line between life and death. An SV Twiz film that shows the truth about what's going on in the hood. Yeah, cousin, if you're going to be able to help me out with this job, like, I need this one bro, bad. Like, I'm not trying You've to seen the rest. Now it's time to see the best. Starring Vodka Thousand Proof and SV Twiz. A hood drama that shows you the meaning of money, power, and respect. Torn apart. Yo, you really doing your thing with that girl? Like, what's up, nigga? I can't call it, bro. Hey, yo, Watch it now on YouTube at Life with the Philly Fam.